Hi guys, welcome to Epsense Pro. Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'll show you guys how you can add additional feature, additional upsell feature through which you'll be able to increase average order value of your Shopify store, or you'll be able to sell more products. And upsell is really important. And one of the most important factor is to have your product page looking real good. And that's the page which is mostly visited by your customers. Obviously, they're on your store they are looking to buy something and if you can add additional check boxes and additional upsell features you will definitely gonna get some sales and increase your average order value so after the following this tutorial you'll have it looking like this so as you can see uh, i have this product page displaying the upsell checkbox which is for leather case for your airports that's my product on the uh, on my products and uh, i was able to add this upsell feature and another example is this shoes where we have this priority shipping option and we can also add a shoe cleaning brush uh, as an upsell as an add-on on this product so you can add these feature using the app which is x checkbox upsell order bump really cool app and i'm gonna show you guys how you can set this up on your store it's gonna work completely fine on all of the paid free or whatever theme you have on the shopify it just should be 2.0 themes and it's gonna work completely fine and you can also have conditionally added on the product page so if you want this checkbox on a specific product you can do that as well you can also add multiple checkboxes on your product page so if you want to learn make sure to watch the complete video and learn how you can do this so guys once you install this app you will have the dashboard looking like this where you will also see the analytics and it's telling you the number of impressions you received on the checkbox which you created the revenue which you generated uh, through this checkbox and the conversion rate cool right and you can also see that here impression conversions revenue and conversion rate so i've already created this leather case one on my product page which is showing up here and i'm going to create a new checkbox for you guys uh, to show you how you can set that up on your store okay so let's click on create checkbox and here i'm going to name it leather case for airports that's the name which is for internal use you can name it whatever you want and here's the text and here's the preview of how our checkbox will look like on the product page so let's name it leather case for your ear parts and if i go to style customization i have a lot of different options where checkbox type can be square curve you can see now we have this curved border round we can also have it round i like it square more and we can also remove the check within this checkbox so if you don't like this check like simply click on no icon and here you won't see any uh, check and you can also change the color of the check right let's try red you can see now it's showing up as red so a lot of different type of customization for text customization we can bold the text we can also change the color of the text so the price is showing up in green color we can also change the color of that price we can display different styling for the compare rate pricing and uh, border radius so lots of different different features which we can add and we can also display the product image so on this checkbox which i've added here you can see we have this image showing up but here we just have this checkbox so let's add the image which looks really ideal so if I go to image customization and here I have the option to show image with a little border and image size is medium is fine. You can also change the size of the image. So let's scroll up to see how it looks now. So that's the product image which will be displayed when we will actually add the upsell product which we want to add. And I want to add leather case for your earpods. So let's go back to checkbox configuration and here we can also add subtitle and this is for pre-check the checkbox so if someone lands on the product page this add-on product this 
upsell product will automatically be checked and when someone go to the product page and clicks on add to cart you can see that it will add these two products on the cart so this checkbox is for pre-check the checkbox so if someone click on add to cart these two products will automatically be added let's check it out now here we have the condition to which products we want to show this upsell to so if i go to any other product let's remove these items from the cart first let's go back to the product so currently i have added a condition that i want to show this upsell to only nike drill top men's product it's not going to show that on any other product so if i go to all products and click on any other product so for example this one you can see that it's not showing up on our product page template this app block is already added but it's not showing up due to the fact that we have added the condition that it's going to show only on this product now let's try adding on this product here so i'm going to go back to the configuration and here i'll select the product where i want to select the trigger we can also display that on whole collection so if we select collection it's going to show on all products right so let's select a product for now and this is my product where i want to display my upsell checkbox click on select and here i'm going to select the upsell product which i want to display on my checkbox okay now click on select the product and here let's add this brown color leather case for airpods and then click on select now let's save to see how it looks okay it's saved and the visibility is enabled we can also disable that so let's go to the product and hit refresh and here you go you can see that our upsell item is showing up with the customization for the checkbox which we added we can also hide this green arrow from here if we want to so if we go back to style customization and scroll all the way to the bottom we have this option to show or hide arrow so if we just uncheck it you can see the in the preview as well this green arrow which is looking a little weird to me is not showing up any longer so let's click on save to see if it works perfect so that's it for the video guys uh, a really cool app and a minimalist app to increase an average order value to your shopify store with this upsell feature make sure to check that out link of the app in the description below until next video have a great day